you have a food truck and it's called Scrumptious Fish and Chips. I, I'm guessing you sell fish and chips. We do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I miss pretty, it. Much, pretty much it. <laughs> so what, okay, and we talked about it pre-interview pre, um, here. I've been to England before. I had fish and chips that was amazing. And then I had fish and chips that was just, yeah, I'm not hungry anymore. Fish and, but um, what makes your, or I guess the differentiator, what makes your um, fish and chips so good? I think it really comes down to two things. Um, one is freshness and two is, is the preparation and the process. So we make everything from scratch. I think the difference between our fish, you know, really good fish and chips or what I like to call something that's scrumptious uh, and your average fish and chips is basically, you know, we take our time. It takes us at least three days to prepare uh, the food. So everything's cooked from scratch, but, you know, we hand peel the potatoes, we hand cut them. We let them soak overnight. We twice fry them so that they're nice and fluffy on the inside and, and crispy on the outside. Um, and then, you know, everything we make are from our tartar sauce, our beer batter, our mushy peas, pickled that everything is made from scratch and we cook to order. So, you know, we don't have chips and fish just sitting there waiting for people. We will, we will put it in the fryer once, once we receive an order. And that's really what it comes down to. That sounds amazing. I'm super hungry now. Um, where do people eat your food? Like, where do they, where are you usually? Well, we started off um, actually at breweries. I mean, beer and fish and chips is two very British Perfect. things. It goes really well together. So uh, we started off um, actually in Scotts Valley at Steel Bonnet Brewery. We started there. And so we started just doing a circuit of breweries between, you know, Scotts Valley, Santa Cruz and Watsonville. Um, and then probably the last six months, we started going into uh, farmers markets and we, we, we've also done a few festivals as well in the area. So we kind of just sort of travel around the, travel around the, the close area, just, uh, you know, where, wherever there's, you know, a great location to be. It's, um, you know, that's where we've been. Now, I didn't prepare you at all for this question. So sorry if I'm just throwing this out of left field here. But having a food truck having being in the food industry is not easy i mean that is hard work what do you enjoy about it there must be something i mean you guys are creative busy you know like talented people why a food truck what, what like what excites you every morning waking up so food um you, you don't often get people that are unhappy. I mean, I, we, we never do. And it's just like, it's the best feeling ever to actually serve something to somebody. And they tell you that they come back and like they order more or they say they're gonna come again or they loved it. It just is like instant gratification and you don't get that in other jobs. Do you know what I mean? You might prepare yeah. a report or a project and months from then you might get some sort of positive feedback, but food is just does that all the time. And you, it's, it's addictive. It's yeah, it's I mean, fun. it's not necessarily just English people or expats that come, I mean, because we get people, they said, you know, I've traveled all the way from San Francisco or whatever, I've heard about your fish and shit, and they're like, it's the best I've had since I can remember, I mean, which is all, always great, but, uh, you know, we had lots of people said, you know, I've been on vacation, and, you know, this is as good as I remember it, um, but yeah, it's, you know, when people come back, the smile on their face, that's what does it for me, or yeah. you get that email or that, that review where people just said, you know, you made our day. That was, that was awesome. That's, that's what it's all about. Nice. Now, one thing that I keep hearing about that people are very excited about isn't just the fish and chips, but it's uh, one of the other things they like is the sauce. Yeah. Can you tell, and there's also another sauce that you're, you're bringing us. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's, it's not English. It's, it's actually German. It's, we, we, we've started off, we do, cause I'm all about flavor. Um, and there's a source that I grew up on because uh, I was actually born in Germany and then I grew up in England. So in Germany, there's a source called curry ketchup um, and they put it on everything, whether it's, you know, chips, yeah. sausages, it goes, it's their yeah. version of ketchup. So I kind of brought that with me. It's um, a recipe that my sister gave to me. And um, it's just been one of those things that it, it goes great with fish and chips and um we just offered it to people like do you want ketchup or curry ketchup and everyone's like oh what's this curry ketchup and then people keep coming back they're like i want some more of that curry ketchup so so we kind of had that um that light bulb went off and we're like maybe you know let's start bottling this stuff and because you can really put it on anything on eggs or 
you know, it just, it's very versatile and it's just a, you know, a nice sweet, tangy, mild curry flavored ketchup. It's just, yeah, uh, it's, it's not spicy. Okay. And we think we converted Santa Cruz a little bit away from regular ketchup to curry ketchup, mm -hmm. you know? What, what do you call it? It's called Zao. Zao, okay. Now, and are you giving your sister royalties for every bottle you sell? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You want to make that clear, sister? No. Right. My contract has been signed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if people want to find out more about where they can find your food truck, if they want to go and actually buy, because you could buy your actual Zao right now online, right? Um, not quite. So we, we, we have created a website um, and we're still, we haven't opened the, the shopping part. So, so right now for the next few weeks, uh, the only way to, um, to purchase the sauces is, is where we have our food truck at our events. Okay. Um, it's also available at one store in SoCal called Sunnyside Produce. Um, but we're hoping probably, hopefully within the next three or four weeks, the, the website shop will be up and running and uh, you'll be able to buy it through there as well. Probably mid-January. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So probably by the time this actually airs, Scott, we'll be able to do it. But all else fails, Scott, if they want to find out, go to your website to find out about the food truck. Um, what's your website address? Yeah, all our events are on our website. It's uh, scrumptiousfc, so F for fish and chips, uh, dot com. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook, which is scrumptious fish and chips. Great. Okay. Well, the links will be, all be on the bottom. I, I'm super disappointed because the there was like two days no, sorry a week ago you were at steel bonnet and i was gonna go that day and i didn't so i missed out so um i'm looking forward to mid-january to to getting some fish and chips weekend we were around this weekend okay i'll have to go okay great thank you guys so much have a great day take care